Okay, so last left off, we had made a couple of histograms in the scatter plot. Um, histograms of our free and reduced price lunch distribution, histogram of academic performance distribution, and then a scatter plot of one of the lunch percentage versus academic performance, where we saw what looked to the eye like a um, slight downward, a slight negative relationship, right? Um, now what we're going to do is actually um, use use our algorithm to make that a real, a real picture, right? So we're going to ask it to fill the line, the line that fit something that is uh, something from, from, from past basically that uh, algorithm does is try to uh, minimize uh, using one of these squares, which basically means that it generalizes it minimizes in that line and all the data points in the data set. Um, and to do that, um, so let's set up our variables, write my, um, my next variable is going to be, I'm going to write my data name and I'm going to say, give me the values for the meals variable. Okay. Watch is our dependent variable. So we literally mean like X and Y axes here. That's the reason why I'm actually just calling X and Y. Um, I actually find this intuitive um, in this case um, because I think it, it articulates a relationship between the value that we're drawing and we're going to have them presented on the graph. Okay, so I have my X and Y, and then uh, here's what it takes to machine learning folks. We're using binary. <laughs> Um, is okay, so I make a little regression object and then I say linear regression to my variables. Right? It's a, it seem a little anticlimactic, but that's what it is. Um, so now what I'm going to do is um, take my scatter plot. Um, so I've generated a scatter plot of x and y. And I'm going to tell them to be blue. This is just so I can read everything. And, oops, got a little screwed up there. So I'm going to do make the scatter plot. Regression line in red. So, okay. um, so again, what I'm doing here is the scatter part is just my variables, the values of my variables. So it's, going to, it's actually going to be the same as the scatter plot that previously. However, this time I'm going to add it. Um, and it's interesting that it actually says predict, right? So the line is actually going to be that quote unquote prediction line of where we expect the relationship to be based on the linear regression model. And okay, so let's go ahead and see what we get here. So here's our histogram. I'm going to get rid of this one. I might actually cut these out. Now, voila, right? This red line is our quote unquote line of best fit that's showing the relationship between percentage of students receiving free or reduced price lunch and their academic achievement, right? So we can see that it actually, you know, that it actually, like, um, the sort of prediction line is around 100. If you have no students on free or reduced price lunch, I eyeball this and say it's like seven something. Um, if you have 100, now, the, the groovy thing is that we can actually ask it specifically how, uh, we can ask it specifically what is the score uh, that I would expect, that I would predict, um, given a certain percentage of, given, given a particular value. 
value of dependent variable. And in fact, this is exactly how we're going to identify, I mean, in, in principle, how we're going to identify uh, sort of outliers or schools that are outperforming, right? Um, intuitively, anything above this line, right, is doing better than we expect. Um, and so we can look at ones that are, you know, we'll probably choose to look at ones that are pretty extreme, um, as in they are very far from the, the prediction line, um, just because that's how stories occur. Um, so back to our code here. One of the things, some things we want to ask about is we want to, we sort of want to understand is, what's the slope of the line? Okay. Um, so the slope is actually great because I mentioned the classes. The slope is basically for every um, 10 increase, for example, for every 10 increase in, uh, it's, it's really, you know, like for every X amount of increment increase in the percentages of your use price lunch, how much do we expect in this case that that's going to go down? Um, and so uh, I just put out. This is something that is calculated. I can also put out the interrupt, right? Um, so this is basically for the value of zero. Um, what do I expect the um, what do I expect the screen to be? Okay. And so now the other thing that I want to do is I want to print out. I want to start printing. I want to I want to look there um, just you know because right, I'm going to print out the schools where value of meals percentage students um, with the value of meals is greater than eight so eight percent or more students are produce produce price lunch and their index score is over nine hundred right so I'm I'm picking that out of thin air obviously you have to decide what's what is interesting to you um in order to make this decision. Um uh but you know basically saying give me some schools that seem really high these out forming schools. Okay, so my date frame and this is here's a little here. But I'm just doing a in here. I'm asking to give me everything in the data frame where the following two things are true. Um, and that's where I see I'm just doing these in, I'm gonna wrap these in parentheses just because I have conditionals. I don't to do that. Um, so API 12B is greater than to right. Hope this makes sense. So, data frame selection, as long as the percentage of meals in the data frame, as long as the value is greater than 80, and API 12B is greater than 900, uh, then give me all the performing schools and um, I'm just going to add them for now. So I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff now. So to my histograms, same, same, same here. I do have a couple of new bits of information though. What I have here is this, that line. Um, so that means for, in, for every increase, per, so every one percentage point, for, so for every percentage point increase in the percent of students on free or reduced price lunch, I would expect to see that API score drop by 1.8. Um, 1.8 points. Um, and now the intercept was 8, which is 98, which is about 900, which I thought pretty well. Um, I was going to 
trying to target. Um, now I have um, a list of no seventeen. Uh, uh, right, of course, I was looking at everything that was greater than the particular line. I was looking at um, you know specifically things that are greater than the interrupt. Right, I mean, I could make it eight ninety eight if I wanted to. Right, but that are greater. So schools that have scores above um, those schools with no low-income students, right? Their achievement is better even than those that have no low-income students, but actually have 80% or more um, low-income students. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just pick one to highlight. So do, 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 do. So Solano Avenue, Allen Tree, um, do, 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 in Los Angeles. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight Solano Avenue Elementary just so I can like see it. Now, um, we'll talk about some issues with later. But um, for now, I'm just going to create what I call the highlight school, and I'm just going to select. Um, Avenue. Where? See. That works. And so that's my. Uh, so what I want to do now is let me actually just go back to. Instead of printing everything, I'm going to go ahead and print just the name. Um, print the last name. I'm going to print the meal person. I'm going to print um, achievement. Let's run this again. It's not going to look. Oops. Not going to look much different. Where did my window go? There it is. Bye bye. Okay. Um, so I'm going to run this again. It's not going to look much different. Oops. So now I have a syntax error. Um, oh, right. I forgot I wasn't printing this yet. What did I do wrong? Right, just an extra one. It's telling me what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so same, same for the plot. I'm not going to worry about these. However, what I see is that it has 80% of student free and reduced price lunch. So I, one of the things that I can do is I can say, um, what is the action for... For a school, um, what is the expected achievement for a school with 80% low income students? Okay. And what I see here is in the bottom of my printout is that the expected um, the expectation would be a score of 750, right? Not of uh, whatever it is that Solano has, which is 920. Okay, so um, I'm going to do one more small thing uh, after this, but this is giving you a feel for kind of the way that the predictions work and how they can be useful. 